Good morning, it's the Jeffrey G Show. I'm Jeffrey Giordano and this is Dutchman. We have got a lot to cover today. Um, I guess I'll get into, let's talk about the MTV VMAs first and foremost. Um, opening performance by Lady Gaga, amazing. Uh, she did applause. It was a great performance, very impressive Gaga, very impressive as always. So congrats to her. Um, also, a congratulations to Selena Gomez, who won her first Moon Man. Uh, I believe it was for uh, Best Pop Video. And Video of the Year went to Justin Timberlake for Mirrors. And the Video Vanguard Award of the Year went to Justin Timberlake. He performed on stage for over 20 minutes without taking a break, and it was amazing. He sang all his solo songs, plus he did a little reunion with NSYNC and they sang this song together. Probably gonna start a fight, I know I can feel right, hey baby, come on. And then when Jimmy Fallon announced Justin Timberlake for the Video Vanguard Award, um, he's like, Dan, looks like NSYNC's getting a little old. They're gaining some weight. They were all out of breath when they were dancing. It was funny. Um, so happy Monday, everybody. We'll get more into that later. It is Monday, August 26th, as I said. Um, if you had a Sunday fun day yesterday, I'm sure hope you're ready for work today because it is Monday. Um... Friday, uh, work was okay, uh, Dave and I pulled, um, actually he left early, I uh, got a ride home, it was a little slow, um, but then I would, you know, did my errands, and Publix, did emails, etc. My views on Friday were 21887. And Saturday, they were 22,718, so I got 813 views. And then on Sunday, they were 22, or 23,363, so that was a total of 645 video views. Oh my God, what's going on? Saturday, I went to work. I was so tired by the end. I was so dehydrated. Um, I literally went home and like went right to bed because I had Sunday brunch. Which work was great yesterday. I waited on the Martins, my favorites. Hi, Janet, if you're watching. Hi, Al. Uh, but the boss was on me all day. The big boss, Elliot. Oh, my God. He made me so nervous. But what are you going to do? And then um, my mom called and lectured me because I was being rude on Sunday to my boss. I told this kids that um, I'm afraid of their grandma. My mother's like, you cannot say that, Jeffrey. You cannot tell three-year-olds you're afraid of, you're afraid of their grandma because she's mean. So I got a big lecture from Mama G, and I, she said I need to think before I speak. I agree sometimes. Um, and with the VMAs, Miley Cyrus's performance with Robin Thicke, amazing. However, she was twerking it. I mean, it's going to be all over the news how provocative she was. And she doesn't care. So, but everyone's going to be talking about it. I guarantee you. Um, 
It was one of the best video music awards ever, I think. Maybe that's because I'm doing this show now and I'm up on pop culture and I'm up on all the music. Because like the last three years I haven't watched it. But this year I was so excited. I watched every bit of it. It was good. They ended the show with this. Which I thought was okay. It was on the Brooklyn Bridge. And this is the first year that MTV's ever done the music awards in Brooklyn. You're gonna hear me roar. So, Katy Perry ended the show on the Brooklyn Bridge. It was an alright performance. Um, the song's supposed to be, you know, like a major hit. I like it. We'll just keep it at that. So, I don't think I'm going to have time to talk about it today, but I'll show you really quick. We'll talk about this tomorrow. The new Oprah magazine. Look at her hair, girl. Look at that afro. And she goes, let's talk about hair. So, we'll talk about that probably tomorrow. Also, I am in a Sweetly. Too bad I had to be when on the cover of The Bachelor Suicide. But I'm in the back. You can't see it, obviously, from here. But there's my picture. Yeah, I do the fashion police jokes. They put my info and picture in, but they forgot to put my jokes in. So, but hey, I'm in the back of a national magazine, which I am every other week, if you're interested in picking that up, Us Weekly. Let's get into G-Spot News, shall we? Taylor Swift had a special treat in store for fans at her Red Tour stop on Saturday. Surprise guest Jennifer Lopez. You can watch the video online. She sang Jenny from the Block with Taylor Swift. I have a video clip of that for you. So Taylor and Jennifer Lopez, look it up online, amazing. South South Bronx. Um, that was she and Taylor announced that was her favorite song growing up, and then out pops Jennifer Lopez on her ride tour. Amazing. X Men stars Jennifer Lawrence and ex Nicholas Hout uh, might be rekindling their romance. The pair was spotted on a romantic picnic date in Montreal. Sweet. Kidnapped victim Hannah Anderson helped honor her mother. Christina and late brother Ethan at a memorial service in Southern California on Saturday. Hundreds attended. Um, and Miley Cyrus treated her fans to her new single on Saturday, Wrecking Ball, along with the cover art for her October 8th album, Bangers. And as I said, the 2013 MTV Music Awards were on live last night in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center for the first time, and it was amazing. Uh, Lamar Odom, this is big exclusive news, Chloe uh, Kardashian's husband has vanished, and everyone in his life is fearing for the worst, that he's off somewhere on a drug binge, his family, and the Kardashian side have not seen him for over 20, 72 hours. Um, they believe he's off doing crack and cocaine, which I did not know he was addicted to. And sources say the marriage of Chloe and Lamar are in crisis um, due to his drug use. Uh, TMZ has learned, and Chloe had him in rehab last year for about three weeks, and he checked himself out, and now he's missing. So, ooh, I gotta find out what the Kardashians are gonna say about this one. Um,. Tyree straight up fainted in a club Friday night and was sent to the hospital. He is fine. He was suffering from exhaustion and he wants everyone to calm down. That's all it was. And President Barack Obama was in Rochester, New York. Uh, he did something only great men do. He tipped a server on top of an already added gratuity. The gratuity was sixteen sixty four, and he left an additional $30. Um, and he also wrote, thanks for the great food. Um, my thoughts on this, I am a waiter, and we add the tip already on every table. 
And I get extra tips all the time. And my friend Janet left me an extra 100 yesterday. So, and I get extra 30s and 20s and 5s and 2s. So, I mean, maybe in Rochester it's not as popular, but down here in Florida it is. So, I don't think that's, like, amazing, but whatever. Uh, rapper Riff Raff, I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but doesn't take too kindly to pictures of him allegedly masturbating and being placed all over the internet, and he is now using his lead goons to make sure that they all disappear for good. And you can go to thedirty.com, that's where you can see it if you want. Uh, Riff Raff, once it's on the internet, it's always going to be there forever. Someone will have it, so don't waste time with your legal goons. Alrighty, celeb photographer Tyler Shields, I believe he was the one, or still is, dating uh, Clint Eastwood's daughter, um, was able to fund his first movie ever by selling one of his photos to a uh, huge Gilmore Girl star for a cool $500,000, and it was a picture of two strangers. If you want to um, compare... The stars from the 2012 Video Music Awards and what they were to the 2013. You can go to TMZ.com and check that out. It's pretty interesting to see how their outfits changed and their music genres changed and what they're wearing. Or for the teeny boppers, how they grew up. Um, R&B singer Anthony Hamilton was popped for a DUI early Sunday morning around 2.30 a.m. in North Carolina. For speeding, and they smelt the alcohol, and then, you know, the rest is history. And Paula Dean is dropped from all Cooking Expo ads um, for an event that she is headlining for Living Social and Groupon. So they took her out of all the ads, but she's the headliner. I wonder if they're going to cancel her at the last minute. Maybe Rachel Ray can do something. Alrighty. And Australian-based off player Chris Lane was shot... Um, and killed last week in Oklahoma by three young men um, at random. The parents and girlfriend of the slain baseball player shared a moment of silence at home plate in the Australian stadium where he used to play. It's very sad news, and that's ridiculous. Just pick at random because they were bored. Authorities in Lake Butler, Florida, say an employee of... A trucking company shot and killed his former boss and a co-worker and wounded two others and then killed himself this weekend. That's like another devastating story. And like I always say, what is going on? I hate this negative news, but we got to be aware of it for, you know, our kids and our youth. And I was thinking about it. I would not bring a baby in this world or adopt one until, like, things get better because it's like just random shootings, school shootings. Like, when I went to school, you just walked in. Now there's metal detectors, fences with barbed wires around some. No, no, no. Anyways, a new law called the Sunshine Act is making doctors very, very nervous. The new law requires pharmaceutical companies to publicly disclose money they've given to physicians and gifts. Um, this is because the doctors recommend the drug to the patient and prescribe it to them, and that's how the pharmaceutical company makes money. They have pharmaceutical reps come in, bribe the doctors, give them lunch, and give them money, a whole bunch of samples, and then they prescribe their medicine. So doctors are afraid that they're going to lose a lot of money if they find out what they're getting and if it's exactly the right pill that should be prescribed to the patient or is it because they got a hundred grand from a pharmaceutical company. I think that's a great act and it's good. That brings me to my top ten list for today. Um, the top 10 drugs prescribed in the U.S. Number 10, hydrochlorothiazide. It's a dry uretic water pill. Number 9, amoxicillin. It's a penicillin-type antibiotic. 8, amylopine. It's a calcium channel blocker for high blood pressure. 7 is Lipitor, again for cholesterol, prevents heart attacks, and keeps down high blood pressure. Number 6, Metformin, treat type 2 diabetes. Number five is Zithromax or the Z-Pack, um, antibiotics for your ear, nose, or throat. Uh, four, Synthroid. It's a man-made version of a thyroid hormone. Number three, Zebtrazil. 
a blood pressure medicine and also preventing kidney failure to oh gymvasystane it's for high cholesterol stroke heart disease and number one vicodin for acute pain it's pain med or for chronic pain usually given after surgery that's my top 10 list for you today and i'm sticking with it talked about us weekly talked about oprah's magazine Talked about work all weekend. Talked about the VMAs, the best VMAs ever. Um, still working at my career nonstop every day. It's like I have two full time jobs. Like I said, eight hours here, eight hours there, and then I go to work. But since she won best pop video. <laughs> I don't know, all of a sudden I'm obsessed with Selena Gomez. I think I said this story before, but I walked into Walgreens and I'm like, don't laugh at me. Do you have any Selena Gomez plans that play when you're ready? Come and get it. And they laughed at me and said no. So... TV's video of the year told you it was Justin Timberlake Mirrors, Best Male Video, Bruno Mars, Locked Out of Heaven, Artist to Watch, Austin Mahone, What About Love, Best Song of the Summer, One Direction, Best Song Ever, Best Video with a Social Message, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis with Mary Lambert, Same Love. I didn't know Macklemore was gay. I didn't even know he was white. Best Female Video, Taylor Swift. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Best hip hop video, Macklemore, Ryan Lewis with Ray Dalton, Can't Hold Us. Best pop video, Selena Gomez, Come and Get It. And best rock video, 30 Seconds to Mars, Up in the Air. Best collaboration, Pink featuring Nate Roos, Just Give Me a Reason. Those are some of them for you. If you want to look up the rest, go to mtv.com. And have a great Monday, everybody. Remember, say hi to somebody today. Hi, Mama G. Hi, the Martins. Hi, Elliot Merv. Hi, Coconuts. Hi, LinkedIn friends. Hi, everybody. I love you all. Hi, Pia. Have a great day. And for the Latinos out there. Have a great day. Hey, 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 hey. Have a great Monday, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Who knows what's going to happen? And don't forget, season five premiere is coming soon. I'll keep you uh, updated on all the details. Until then, we'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye. I'm not trying to tell you love you. I'm not to regrets.